salt, sand, or beet juice? Conventional solutions like salt and sand are used to pre-treat roads before they become dangerously slippery. Ow. But each method has their pros and cons, so let's put it to a test. Is this actually working right now? Salt contains high levels of chloride. The use of road salt has been proven to damage vegetation. About 5 million tons of road salt are used in Canada each year to mitigate ice and snow conditions on roads. However, almost all chloride ions from road salts eventually find their way into waterways, soil, and groundwater. Sand is used to increase friction between icy pavement and vehicles passing over it. But several studies and municipal evaluations have found sand to be relatively ineffective. One of the main issues is that sand blows off the road with just a few vehicle passes at speeds over 40 kilometers per hour. And many municipalities and winter maintenance practices still mix sand with salt. So what about beet juice? Beet juice can be used as a de-icing alternative. The beet juice blend works by lowering the freezing temperature of the brine. The brine solution still contains salt. You just don't need as much of it to work. While sodium chloride can help pre-treat roads at around minus seven degrees Celsius, when mixed with beet juice, the sugars help to drop the freezing point even more. As a result, ice shouldn't form unless it's extremely cold. Due to its sticky nature, this type of ice melt minimizes the amount of salt that runs off into waterways. It is less corrosive, uses a byproduct, and is easier on our vehicles, pavement, and plants. The main drawback, it can leave behind a red stain. However, it isn't permanent and will not cause property damage.